Hello creative friends, this is Rebecca and today I'm going to try uh, to see if I can laser cut sticker paper. Um, now this is not a, a sheet of sticker paper, these are just mailing labels so they're, they're small rectangles but I'm going to see if I can just cut an image in this sticker paper and this is probably very similar to any kind of mailing label. Uh, that you can get. So it's white. So the problem with these diode lasers, the darker the material, <clears throat> the better because the light absorbs, um, a, a darker material will absorb the light better and do better job of cutting. So, but I'm going to give this white sticker paper a try. And then while I'm at it, I just kind of went through um, some of my crafty stash and found some other things that would. Uh, act as a sticker paper and so this is contact paper this one came from the Dollar Tree um, contact paper or shelf liner paper uh, it's not uh, pure white it's kind of a uh, like a stone stone color very light but I'm gonna see if we can cut a shape into that and we'll see what that does and then I have some of these official stickers I uh, picked up a long time at Ikea. They're just really beautiful. Um, but I, I may try some of these other colors. Now these are already pre-cut stickers. But um, if we can't get the white to work, I'll see if these pastel colors or the green and the pink would actually create um, a sticker cutout. So I may give that a try. And then I know for sure that blue painter's tape will cut but I'm going to see if just this regular masking tape will cut. It may not be dark enough. And then lastly, um, I found these at Dollar Tree as well. And they were sold as glitter paper. And three sheets to a pack. I think at the time there were three colors, a blue and a green, and then a, like a pinkish purple, which I've already used up. But um, so Dollar Tree, they sold it as glitter paper, but they actually have a sticky backing on them. So, so it is a sticker sheet. Um, just be careful. This is a reflective surface. And so I don't know. Uh, just be very, very careful. We're not supposed to use any kind of reflective surface with the, with the laser. So I may just try a real quick uh, test and see how that goes. But fair warning. Um, all right, I may get some screenshots of the laser working, but then I'll come back uh, with some final results and show you how well they did and what settings I used. I'm going to use an NC file. It'll be the same NC file that I used for this 2021 date here. And um, I may go ahead and link this NC file below if you have any interest in using the 2021 um, at all for any testing of your own. Um, thanks so much and keep watching. Okay, I'll just get some images of one of these. I ended up taking all these samples and um, attaching them to a piece of black cardstock. Um, most of them still have the backing with them. And this is actually working better than I thought it would. Uh, right now it's working on a white sticker uh, that came from Ikea and I'm running it at 20% laser power at 10 ms for the burning time using just an NC file and the regular desktop version of the NAJ software and um, this it took about 46 seconds or so to uh, to do this 2021 image um, and so most of these are turning out better than I would have expected and so I will show you kind of a final reveal here in just a second but I'm going to try these uh, glitter glitter pieces, glitter paper next. I may just do a simple square on those and see how that goes. And then I'm going to come back to the mailing label and do a simple square. So um, just one second. Okay, so all these samples are done. And, you know, I have to admit, they came out better than I thought they would. Uh, I started off with this blue painter's tape just to get our settings. And... Um, that was did just fine at 10 percent laser 10 ms burning time and then i tried 10 and 10 on the masking tape but it didn't work so i did bump this up to 20 percent laser here and so all the rest of these are are almost all the rest of these are the same setting for 20 percent laser 10 ms so here and and here 
and then here and then these IKEA stickers uh, also same setting 10 and 10 or 20 20 and 10 um, then I came back I did lower this to 10 percent just did a square um, 10% laser, 10 MS, and then down here, this is 10% laser and 20% M laser, both at 10 MS. But um, honestly, I think these did better than I would have expected. These IKEA stickers, I think, probably came out the cleanest. And so you, you could certainly use this as a sticker itself. And then if you had like a Cricut weeding tool, you could you could pick out these little stickers. Now a Cricut will cut these, but I mean this this is um, a tiny image. It was set to 30 millimeters across, and so a Cricut Cricut would have a hard time getting you know the fine details on that. It could do it certainly uh, with a nice fresh blade, but um, but definitely I'm I'm really pleased at how well how well that that turned out. So I'm just going to stick that right here for now. So, so these IKEA stickers worked great, even on the white. And so this was our true test here. Can you make a sticker on white? And as you can see, I may have to push down some of these, but they did, they did cut. And this is 20% laser, 10 MS. Not as well as the darker color. That Well, it's not real dark, but that green did uh, fantastic. This white, I think the white still did a good job. Let's see, I'm missing this two up. Let's see if I can get that up. There we go. So yes, it will cut white. And we can use that as a sticker. And then this pink looks great. And it cut fabulous. So these IKEA stickers did okay. Um, this was the test that we were going for. So again, these were these um, mailing labels now I've had these for a long time and um, they are made for inkjet printers so it's a matte finish and and it's super thin and I tell you it's the, I don't know the quality is just not the best for a label um, but it is a matte finish and that may have helped uh, this was 10% laser and and you can see it did not it's not a very clean cut but this is 20% laser and it's a nice clean cut and that that came right off but you know it's it's odd because the sticky there's no sticky the sticky is right here but you know what I may have had that upside down huh well anyway both sides of this paper feel the same so I don't think it really matters for this particular brand um, but again here's here's the sticky the sticky side so whenever you go to do these make sure you've got the correct sticky side and as you can see this one uh, cut pretty well Yeah, again, I uh, think I did the wrong side because this, this part's the sticky. This was the contact paper. Just one word of warning, this one had a lot of odor. So I don't know how safe this is because it did, it did cut through to this backing layer but again that was a nice clean clean cut 
you could use these individual tiny pieces or you could use this cutout. And then this Dollar Tree glitter paper. This was at 10%. And it seems to be coming off okay. Huh. Actually, Actually, it didn't go all the way through the sticker part. Probably should have gone back and done that at 20%. I think that would be just fine. And then the same for this one, because I had just done that at 10%. But it's nice to know that you can go through the top layer without getting the back layer. Yeah, this should have been at 20%. But it 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 is uh it does have the sticky part with it there. And then lastly, this was the masking tape which I'm getting some of my cardstock underneath as well, but since there's no backing on this type, it's just tape, it's not a sticker. Yeah, and that did cut through, but it's gonna be hard to pull up off of the cardstock. But all in all, I am, I was um, impressed that the white sticker did as well. So if you had a good quality label and uh, got it on the correct side, then I think, yes, we can make stickers from white labels. Thank you for watching.